hello. Today I'm going to teach you how to construct a square inside a circle, and that's called inscribed in the circle. I started with a circle and a center, and I've already drawn in the diameter. So right here, I've got two points of my square already, and I know that I need two more, and they need to be exactly the same distance and perpendicular away. So I'm going to do the perpendicular bisector construction. I'm going to put my window on one of the endpoints of my diameter and open my compass pencil point more than halfway, so past the center of that circle. I'm going to use my pencil to construct an arc. Okay, and then I'm going to switch to the other end point of my diameter. Same thing, put the window on the end point, use my pencil to swing that arc, looking for those two points of intersection. Now students often ask me, well, what happens if this part of my construction is bigger than yours or smaller than yours? And the answer is it really doesn't matter because this point and this point are still going to line up with the diameter of your circle. I'm sorry, with the center of your circle. So we're going to take our ruler, our straight edge, and we're going to line up these points. One, two, and the center makes three. So I'm gonna line them up and I'm going to find out where they intersect my circle. And they intersect my circle exactly where I wanted them. So now I have four points. One, two, three, four. And if I take my pencil and I connect those four points, one, two, three, Four. I have now created a perfect square inscribed within my circle. And that's it. It's the perpendicular bisector construction used in a very new way. Thanks. Have a great day.